I work in a learning center. That's a school, baby. Onward. These past few weeks, I've been having, there's just been, I work with special ed kids, and, uh, you know, it's. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about, brother. I was in special ed, baby. Let's hear more. It's it's a job. It, it gets stuff done, but recently there's been a kid named James. He has autism. Mm-hmm. And uh, recently he's been trying to uh, sexually assault me. That adds up, baby. Uh, yeah. I mean, I feel like if somebody... I don't know how to say this. First of all, a lot of people named James have, you know, they're tismed out. And that's, you could draw a damn graph of that and it would check out. Well, look, if people have autism, they're going to want to fuck, they want to get out that damn, they want to fucking burp that little nut wand, baby. You know? They, they I mean... Sometimes you just, I feel, you ever just been so just, you just want to spray on something. So I can't even, if I had autism, I'd, I'd if, you know, if I had fully documented autism, I would be, I'd spray on half the things in town probably. Let's hear more. And, you know, I don't really care, but it's more frightening for the other students. Yes. And the thing is, you know. I know they can't help it and stuff, but every time he does it, he just has this look in his eyes. Oh, yeah. This lustful, evil look. They say if the devil's got your nuts, he's got your eyes. Because the eyes are just the nuts of the face. So, yeah. The feeling you have in your nuts is always the feeling that you have in your eyes. Go punch somebody in the nuts. And look in their eyes. Same pain, baby. And yeah, look, it's tough, man. Look, first of all, I commend you for being out there and being on the front lines of um, of special ed. You know, uh, let's hear more. Almost like he knows what he's doing, and if he knows that it's wrong, mm -hmm. and he'll be, you know, he'll be running around, and he'll be, stop that, James. Stop it, James. Please stop. And, you know, he'll be helicopter in it. Oh. And it's just, it's scary. And we're a little, we're a little afraid for our safety. Well, let, hold on. Let's don't get crazy. Let's, you know. I mean, you know, you don't have to be afraid for your safety, dog. You got a, you know, you got a mentally unwell fella just, you know, running around trying, you know. I mean, he's probably in heat. Have you thought about that? It's spring, baby. It's almost spring. It's going to be spring in a few months. So you don't know what, you know, and if somebody's autism, they might be off by a month or two in their genetics easily. You can easily see that. That's fucking... That's that DNA leap year, homie, if you got autism. So, yeah, dude, it's springtime. That fella's in heat. That's what you're getting there. James is in heat, man. I'd get him a little bust post over in the corner. Get a little pair of, uh, um, get you a half of a mannequin and put some damn uh, uh, Daisy Dukes on it. That's what I would do and put that thing, you know, put a candle or two in a closet and let him get in there and pump on it. You know, you have to have a plan. But if you're just yelling, stop it, James, and he's out there just, you know, he's tugging on that little spunk whisker. That's stop it. James isn't going to help. You know, you're not a damn crossing guard, brother. Or. Hit him with some Narcan, brother. That'll shut anybody down. You know, they don't like to put all the different, you know, uses or whatever on the thing, but 
if I got a you know somebody in my area and they're over there splurging their little uh, that little splash hammer right in front of me, I'll just damn hit them with that Narcan, baby. You know, let the Lord sort them out. Praise God, baby. Let's hear a little bit more. And thank you for the call, man. I'm sorry that you're having to deal with some of this. And I'm I'm also afraid of some students because we found we found a collection of uh, almost like a booger collection, but it was it was other people's pictures that he t- took from under a stairwell. Hmm. So, but we've been working on stuff. I don't know what to do with him. Well, he might be damn an artist, brother. You can't, you know, it sounds like he's an artist. So don't condemn him for that. Um, you know, I know they can't help it, but every time I, every time I look him in the eyes, he's just, mm-hmm. he's just panting with that lustful, um, he, he'll smirk when he does it too. It's like he knows what he's doing. That's heat, brother. He's in heat. And that's somebody in heat. And so I think at that point, you got to do prayer. You got to. You got to consider Narcan, but I would do prayer first. And, um, and yeah. And look, I just commend you, man, for being there and being there on the front lines of autism. Hope you enjoyed that video. And you can watch another. And you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.